Welcome back, up on the chopping block this time are our version 4 rear toe arms. It's good to see Zach hasn't lost his infamous box shimmy techniques as clearly demonstrated here. Now what do you get in the box? You get some dust boots that are optional since the bearings are PTFE lined, but we include them anyway in case you want to run them. Then you get the whole enchilada itself, and like its brothers and sisters, it's made from chromoly steel that comes standard with an extra girthy 28mm outer diameter tube filled by a 3mm sidewall. And you may ask, yo, why'd you ship me a bent-ass tie rod? Well, silly, it's bent for science, as it lets you get that low low that you so crave without the chance of your arms actually contacting the chassis. Woot. On top of all of that, our engineers have crafted a love letter explaining the ins and outs of things, dealing with these arms and how to adjust them. Moving right along, let's toss these into the extremely overpriced S13 we have in front of us. Start by removing the outer nut and bolt, pushing said bolt out and dropping the arm down. Now head inwards, my friend, and loosen and remove that nut and bolt as well. Then wiggle that crap rod on out of the car for the last time. Now I mentioned science before, but here's the breakdown rod versus rod. The old rod bearing has near no misalignment, and as you can see, it's straight as an arrow. It adjusts, but not enough, and under compression, it makes contact with the subframe. Ew. Not to pat ourselves on the back, but ours has features, my guy. Features like high misalignment bearings to compensate for more suspension travel, more adjustment, and more importantly, that 20 degree bend I mentioned earlier. Now let's talk adjustment. Like all of our arms, we recommend starting at the max safe adjustment and winding inwards to your desired settings for a safe thread overlap. Now, at max length, our toe arm will hit 385 millimeters center hole to center hole, AKA 29 millimeters for the extender itself, measuring from the end of the arm to the inside edge of the extender. Now, if you want to match OEM spec, we got you fam, wind everything inwards to hit 355 millimeters center hole to center hole, or 22 millimeters of the extender measuring the same as before. If you haven't one-way boomeranged your old arm into the dumpster, you can match it up with the old length by lining them up as shown here. Keeping it close to what you had is a great place to start with as well. On the flip side of that, and if you want to be duck-footed in the rear for some reason or your chassis bent AF, the max inward adjustment you can go on these is going to be 335 bolt hole to bolt hole. So when comparing our arms to OEM, you get 30 millimeters of outward adjustment, meaning toe in, and an inward adjustment maximum of 20 millimeters, meaning toe out. This gives you plenty of wiggle room to find ways to wear your tires faster and or slower. Now that you've picked your lengths, let's slam these suckers back on the car and get rolling again. Toss the arm in and install the nut and bolt through the subframe, then head to the outside and install the nut and bolt there as well. Now, tighten and torque the outside to the specs shown here. Then, head inside again and tighten and torque to these specs shown as well. Now, before tightening the lock nuts, make sure the bearing is running centrally and not cocked to the left or the right aka the middle. Once it's in the middle, support the extender and tighten both of the locking nuts. Fun fact, you can probably remove the coilover with these bad boys and it still won't hit the subframe. Wow. Currently dropping a sick product pan to show the done deal. Now enjoy some proper suspension action for once on your way to get an alignment, then enjoy your newfound lowness. Now, here are two dudes whose alignments may differ, but whose hearts are aligned towards doing burnouts. One so happens to be a deep sea diver and the other one's a Russian spy. I'll let you decide who's who. If you don't know or don't want to install these, have a professional do it, as this is just a guide. If you have any questions, reach out to us here. This has been Officer Dan, Johnny Caps, and Zacky Tutos coming at you with another how-to. Peace.